Hey everybody and welcome to a quick tutorial on iPhoto library management. All right, This is a little hack that a lot of people don't know. Now when you open up iPhoto, you just click on it obviously, it opens up to your library and you'll have all your albums over here and everything. And uh, what a lot of people don't know is um, you can have multiple libraries. So I'm just going to command quit this and show you how to do this and why it is so helpful. You hold down the option button and my fingers on the button and then you click photos and what's going to open up is this dialog that says choose libraries. You can see I have a lot of libraries here. Now some of these are on an external hard drive. If they are, um, they won't all appear. Sometimes you have to actually navigate to an external hard drive. Let's see if I've got one attached. There we go and you'll see I've got some more um, libraries on here um, but most recent ones or ones it finds quickly will be on here. Now why do I have all of these libraries? Well let's take for example one of my most recent ones I think I have a trip to Yosemite here and we'll open up this library. Now the reason is that I took lots of pictures on multiple days you can see over here with multiple devices I also collected pictures from my friend Pat who went my friend Matt who went on this trip to Yosemite and I also wanted to sort what was from my iPhone what was from the GoPro what was from the Sony uh, my iPhone my Osmo DJI Osmo and then sort them into favorites that's going to be for uh, making a highlight video now the reason is if I put all of these into my main library your library can get really big all right and once your library gets too big it gets slow and it gets hard to manage so what I will do is if I have an event like trunk or treat 2018 let me open this one this would be an event of, that we did a couple of years ago um, and it's just a really fun event you know with at our church with you know people dressing up there's me on my unicycle um, and people decorated cars and kids went around and got candy and stuff and I collect all kinds of pictures from different types of people people send me in I edit them and I crop them well there's a lot of pictures so let's see there's a total in this album does it tell me how many it does somewhere I think I'm just in the wrong let me click on one and it'll say yeah this is picture 424 of 669 photos well that's a lot of photos to load into my um, iPhoto library that really after that event I don't need them um, but some days in the future I'll be asked hey do you have some pictures from the Nerf Wars because we're gonna do a promotion I can open my Nerf Wars library and obviously these are updating because I haven't used a lot of these libraries in a while So obviously it had to do an update so I'm gonna re-say what I said before so you know there's a lot of pictures here so in this album there's 200 pictures it's not a lot but it's all for one event and so some days in the future you know um, I may go you know what I want some of those Nerf War uh, photos for promoting um, you know our next Nerf War well, instead of going digging through tens of thousands of photos I can just go into my hard drive pull up this old library and there is all of my Nerf pictures from the past. So I do this for for all of my major events. All right. So um, here's Wind River Range, uh, our extravaganza, our gingerbread hunt. Um, so you, now you're probably wondering, well, how do you do that? So I'm going to show you how you do it. So hopefully you get the why. It just makes these big buckets that you can use uh, to promote your events, save your pictures, have easy access to, access to them in the future. Now here's how you do it, all right? Again, you're gonna hold down option and the photos icon will bounce. And then when it bounces, you're gonna hit uh, create new library, all right? So you're gonna hit create new and then you're gonna decide where do you want it. Do you want it in your pictures? Uh, do you want it on an external drive? And so I'll literally make a new library up here and I'll be demo um, libraries, what I'll call this one. And then I hit OK. And now I have a brand new iPhoto. And so if I wanted, I can take this picture. 
um, which I just used on the wallpaper earlier. And there's my picture. I can put it in albums. This is not a tutorial on how to use iPhoto, but how to have multiple libraries. Now remember, it's always going to open. If you just click, it's always going to open to the last library that you opened. So if you're working on a project, you'll notice that, um, I think on my laptop I do this, I usually name my system library, uh, that's this my main one, with the word live, but that, that's on my main computer. And then that way I always know that's the live one I'm editing. If I back up a library to a hard drive, I, I, I change the name with the word locked at the end. So I know I'm no longer editing or moving pictures in and out. It is just a locked um, library. And uh, it's primarily just for backup purposes. So, um, so yeah, here's uh, here's another library. Just with uh, we did a gingerbread event, and um, and so it's got some other ministry pictures in it as well. Um, that from that weekend because I imported all my pictures from that weekend. So hopefully this is helpful to you. I would encourage you every time you have a major event, um, go ahead and create a new library for that event. You also can just create a new library each year, starting in January. If your library is getting cumbersome and huge, uh, name it the year that it is, and you can just start a new library every year. Now, if you use PhotoStream, which I love, it syncs your last thousand pictures uh, across your devices, that only works with the system library, um, and that is turned on in your iPhoto settings um, on, in, under iCloud. So. Um, you don't have to worry about, you know, PhotoStream loading a thousand pictures into all of your libraries. It will only do it in that main event. So here's an awesome event we have. We brought in Kids Blitz to our church and, and we had a blast. And I wanted to make a highlight video. And so um, what's I, here it looks like I just have, oh, and here's all the videos. Um, so I didn't make a lot of folders for that event. But anyway, hopefully this is helpful to you. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, go ahead and throw them in the comments. Um, if you haven't, please subscribe to this channel and check out kidology.org for lots of help for those in children's ministry. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.